Well, if you own an Osmo Pocket camera, the first thing you realized when you got it was, I need something to make this thing stand up. They do apparently have a base with some wireless uh, electronics in it coming. But in the meantime, you can go online and find some very nice products. This one produced by Aerial Pixel. It has the 1 quarter 20 tripod screw that is so noticeably missing on the Osmo Pocket. Uh, let's see. That's really easy to do. They put the GoPro tabs on the back. The first models they had did not have that. They've got the appropriate cutouts needed for the microphones. There's also one on the bottom for the uh, USB connector. And the bottom also has, on mine, the metal insert for the quarter 20 tripod screw. You can also save a couple bucks by getting the version that doesn't have the metal insert. It's just threaded into the plastic. And did I say plastic? I think it's actually a rubber. So I read somewhere online that they made it out of a rubber type of uh, 3D printing process. And that makes it flexible and gives it a nice firm grip. Oh, okay, it takes a bit of energy to pull that off there. But it slides in nice and easy. The uh, smooth 3D printing is a real plus in this. I've bought some 3D printed stuff before for other projects for GoPro mounts, including. And they had that really rough surface, and it didn't seem quite thick enough. I think I had one of those break down after a while. Sliding the camera in and out of this case, meanwhile, I think you could do that for 100 years and it wouldn't wear out anything. I have fastened a uh, tripod attachment piece to the bottom of the case. Let's see. So voila, it is on a uh, a little tripod. So with the legs folded on these little tripods, you have the uh, perfect length for extending your selfie cam out into the uh, ether and again nice and safe notice that when you have something on the uh, bottom of the Osmo case like this tripod adapter it uh, covers up the USB connection but I think you can attach it to a tripod using the GoPro tabs and that will leave the USB port exposed well, I found my GoPro fitting, and we'll give that a try in here. And real quick, um, this I bought from somebody else, not from not from the people who made this nice Osmo pocket holder. I bought this. It's, it's a 3D printed thing, and it's already cracked. It has a very rough surface on it, and this is the antithesis of the uh, lovely uh, 3D printing job that was done on the... Um, the Osmo holder. Yeah, I don't really trust this thing too much, but it's good enough for demonstration purposes here. So let's see if we can fit this onto there, mount the uh, holder onto a tripod, and have a place to plug in a USB cord. I've got it mounted, and the uh, USB port under here is kind of uncovered, but let's see if I can actually fit the cable into it. Well, this is what I was afraid might happen. This doesn't quite go up to the straight position. This little tab right here stops it from doing so. Well it turned out to be a pretty easy fix. I just turned the mounting plate 90 degrees and that'll go through more than straight. So there we go. Well, you can use the Aerial Pixel adapter with your USB cable plugged into the Osmo. That's good to know. Well, I was going to take it off of the tripod adapter to show you how nice it stands up by itself. I was pleasantly surprised that with the little uh, um, adapter 
plate for the Joby on the bottom, even with its uh, level, it sits down nicely. That should stay up through an earthquake, at least a 3.5 for all you guys getting blasted by fracking earthquakes in the Midwest. And of course it's nice and stable, just on its own. And once again, did I say it? I kind of love this product already. I hope it holds up nicely. Take care, Krusty Bob over and out.